Hey you guys, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is gonna be about my favorite color which is red. If there is ever a time you feel like you don't have time to get ready at all and you just want to look a little bit more presentable, try to put on a red lipstick. Obviously if you are comfortable with it because it's such a bright color, it tends to divert attention from the other flaws on your face. So yeah, if you're in a hurry, try and put on a red lipstick and things should be better than what they would be without a red lipstick. So I have my red lipstick collection i guess you can say with me over here and these are not all necessarily my favorites but these are different kind of reds that i feel like i should walk you guys through so i feel like everyone just knows that reds there are warms and there are cools if you choose a warmer red your teeth tend to look a little more yellow and if you choose a cooler red, it will try to make your teeth a little bit more white. So I'm going to try and walk you guys through different types of reds that I own. So the first one is by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Coraline. Coraline? Coraline? This is something I got as a free gift and as you can see, it's really bright. This definitely is on the more coral side and the more neon side. This is something I would say is a fire engine kind of a color. For my skin tone, I have to be a little careful with this because it can tend to look a little bit more neon, excessively neon. So if I apply a lot of it, it can look more neon and it just does not pair well with my skin tone but I do enjoy wearing this color once in a while and it is really bright it will attract a lot of attention but if you are into more coralish or more neon kind of a red then this one is a good option it lasts on your lips for a decent amount of time and yeah I feel like people on more of the fairer spectrum will enjoy this but also mediums can wear this you just have to be a little careful and not apply it too much and be very precise with it so usually i just dab it on my lips and try to blend it out i don't fully wear this but yeah it's not bad but it's also not something i would choose willingly this is something i got as a free gift so yeah this was coraline by wet and wild the next shade i'm gonna be talking about is by miss claire this is in the shade 01 now Miss Claire, oh my god, please change your packaging to something that is more accurate. So this is the Miss Claire one right here. This is the first Fire Engine more neon one, the Coraline one by Wet n Wild. This is by Miss Claire. So the Miss Claire one is definitely more toned down and it's more on the cooler spectrum. So if you're looking for a similar shade, then I feel like fairer skin tones and medium skin tones can wear this well. Again, for my skin tone, there can be times where this looks a little weird if I have a little bit more tan, but I still can wear this and it does look really gorgeous. I do enjoy this shade and the formula it does last for a really good amount of time and it looks really good so people with more uh, fair and medium skin tone can wear this darker skin tones it might look a uh, more neon like this one but yeah if you are not into such a neon shade but you still want something on a similar tone then you might want to go for this one this does have a little bit of pink in it not a lot but it definitely has slight pink undertones so yeah if you're looking for something like that then you might want to check out miss claire's soft matte lip cream in the shade 01 so the next one is something that is okay i reviewed and talked about this lipstick in my previous or a few videos ago and i talked about how i do not enjoy the formula i do not but i still wanted to talk about the color because it's really gorgeous so this is swiss beauty's pure matte lipstick in the shade crimson red 215 crimson red and this is what it looks like as you guys can see it's a little deeper than this miss claire one and also not as neon as this one this it's not actually catching on the camera but this one does have some pink undertones actually a lot more pink undertones than the miss claire one i feel like it's a little deeper than the miss claire one so it might be a little bit more wearable for medium deep skin tones again it does look pretty bright on my face but i still do enjoy this color the formula is whack please do not purchase this one <laughs> it's like it's really dry but yeah if you're looking for a red with more pink undertones then you might want to see this color try to find a different formula don't pick this one up this is mm, yeah so these are the three neonish more light kind of a shade this is definitely the wet and wild one is definitely a lot more neon the miss claire one is cool toned with some hints of pink and the swiss beauty one is definitely more of a proper red but with heavy pink undertones so yeah those were the three reds that i had to show okay so the next thing i have with me is a lip liner this is by miss claire this is in the shade fiesta fiesta red and this is the swatch i will try to insert a better picture and the swatch actually looks even worse the formula of these is bad but 
the swatch in the swatches it actually looks worse than what it is but this is something i would consider a proper red shade for deeper skin tones i feel like it has enough depth and also it is a warm tone shade i feel like this will flatter majority of the skin tones but yeah this is a warm toned red shade i don't have a lot to say about this because it's just a deeper toned red it's a pretty color but you have to keep in consideration that these lip liners have a really dry formula it's not something that i would say is a true true red but it's definitely on a deeper spectrum the next product i have here with me is miscellaneous soft matte lip cream in the shade 42 now this is something i consider to be my perfect wearable red shade this definitely has a lot more brown to it it's not a nude by any means but it's a red with brown undertones and i honestly enjoy this so much like this is one red shade that i feel like if i ever go through this i will definitely repurchase it that's how pretty it looks and i feel like for medium skin tones and even darker skin tones this will look absolutely gorgeous especially for people around nc44 nc45 this might also be your perfect red color so yeah if you're not into the neons then you might want to consider purchasing the 42 shade in miss claire soft matte lip cream it's really gorgeous you guys give it a try if you're looking for a red lipstick it is warm tone but i don't feel like my teeth look excessively yellow when i wear it it's just a perfect wearable good looking red shade for my skin tone the next shade is something i am wearing right now and i did not expect myself to fall in love with this so this is okay so i purchased this for my mom because she wanted the burgundy blush shade which is a really deep 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 burgundy color but that wasn't available anymore so i thought i would purchase divine wine and I purchased this and the first time I put this on my lips I felt like a different person. I am wearing it right now on my lips and it's definitely the deepest shade among all the lipsticks I've mentioned today and this will suit every single person. This honestly just looks so classy. Every time I look at this color I imagine someone wearing a silk sari and wearing this with it. It is just so classy and royal looking in my opinion and I wouldn't say this is like a perfect red or anything. It's just a deeper red shade. Pick this one up you guys. If you're hesitating, if you wanted to pick this shade up, I would highly suggest going in with it it's absolutely gorgeous the creamy matte formula as you guys know okay so this is the maybelline creamy matte lipstick in the shade divine wine if i haven't mentioned it already it's from this range it's affordable it lasts for a really good amount of time on your lips so yeah if you're looking for a deeper red not vampy by any means but just a deeper red then this is the one that i would highly 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 suggest to anyone if there are two shades that you want to purchase from this entire video then it would be the Miss Claire lip cream in the shade 42 and the Maybelline creamy matte in the shade divine wine both absolutely gorgeous and look good on anyone and everyone and I never tend to think about repurchasing red shades because I feel like I'm more of a nude person but if these two shades the 42 and divine wine if i ever go through them i'm definitely gonna repurchase them so yeah those were all the red shades that i own and i feel like i have a pretty good selection of different sorts of and different types of red do let me know which one is your favorite and which one is the one that you're more inclined to purchase and yeah i think that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you found this video helpful in one way or the other please like comment and subscribe all three of these things mean so much to me and leave down any of your video requests if you have one and yeah once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye